today I'm going to show you the cheapest way to get started on iRacing. And I know iRacing can be really off-putting, there's memberships, and you have to buy cars, you have to buy tracks and equipment and everything, but I'm just going to try and demystify everything for you, because I was put off by it at the beginning before I got into iRacing, and now I absolutely love iRacing. And I want to show you the cheapest way to get in. So without further ado, let's start with the membership, because in iRacing, you do need to have a membership to play the game even before you buy any cars and tracks, and that can be quite confusing. This is the default iRacing membership page, and you can see here for one year, it's $66. However, there are always loads and loads of promo codes going around. And at the time of making this video, I think this one is still valid, and you can get a whole year of iRacing for just $20. I mean, that is an absolute steal. So if you're off put by iRacing because you think I've got to shell out for a membership, well, that's about... 14 pounds in the UK, $20 in the US. I say that's pretty good value um, for an iRacing subscription. And what I'll do in this video is I will update the pinned comment in this video with the best code that's available at the time that you're watching. So if you're watching this video now, you should see in the pinned comment a voucher code for you to use that's going to give you a juicy discount on the subscription. So we're saying $14, sorry, 14 pounds or $20 for the subscription. So you can forget about this $66 or this $119 or the RRP of $110 for one year. Forget about that. We're going to get involved for one year for £15. So that's great. So the other thing about iRacing and, and paying for things in terms of the software is paying for cars and tracks. Um, you know, iRacing is always releasing new cars and tracks. So this week they've released the Red Bull Ring, which is an absolutely fantastic track. They've released a Porsche GT3 as well. And every update, they'll basically release cars and tracks that cost about $15 each, give or take. But I'm telling you here, you don't need to buy any cars or tracks if you want to try out iRacing. You're going to get 16 cars for free with your subscription. Perhaps most importantly, this bad boy here, the Mazda Cup, um, which is a really fun car. There's always series going on there, a rookie series, where you can drive that car around some really popular circuits that you're also going to get for free. Look at all these circuits you're going to get. You're going to get Autumn Park. You're going to get a Laguna Seca, Lime Rock Park. You're going to get Daytona as well. Sakuba. Some absolutely classic tracks here. So Okayama as well, a really great track. So you absolutely do not need to buy cars and tracks in iRacing off the bat. I can confirm that for you. You get your subscription. You're going to get all of this included. So for four, £14 or 20 US dollars, you're going to get all of this for a year which i think is pretty good value you can kind of compare that to buying gt sport or buying the latest f1 game or buying forza or buying a subscription to game pass so for rye racing 15 pounds 20 dollars you're going to get all of this so that's where we're starting from but the main thing about iRacing racing compared to a console is you need to run it on the pc and i know this could be quite confusing and i have lots of people in my discord i'll put a link in the description below 400 people in the discord now Lots of sim racing fans, lots of people wanting to get involved in iRacing, but it just seems a bit complex. And that's because of the system requirements, which I've got on screen here. So you can see we're talking Windows 10. That won't be a problem for, for any PC. Um, recommended six calls. We're going to, I'm going to build a PC in this video, by the way. So I'm going to try and find the cheapest way to get into iRacing. We already spent £15 on the software, and now we're going to build the PC as well. Now, this is the most important one for me. 16 gigabytes of RAM. That might be something that um, prevents some older laptops from running the game because it can be hard to upgrade RAM and laptops. And even gaming laptops um, up to a few years ago would have come with 8 gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigabytes recommended. Um, or as minimum, actually. Um, and with the graphics, we're looking at recommended 6 gigabytes, but minimum 2 gigabytes on the graphics card. So that will be not too strenuous actually and you can tone down a lot of settings the fact that they're saying you can play this on a gtx 660 which is a very old graphics card shows that you can run iRacing racing on low graphical settings but you will need your system to have a decent amount of ram so worth bearing that in mind storage this won't be a problem direct 11 uh, direct x won't be a problem either and we'll get on to controller because they say a minimum analog gamepad but i'm going to ignore that you need to basically use a wheel if you want to play iRacing. So let's get into it. We're actually going to build a PC as cheap as possible. Excuse my spelling. So let's do it now. And I've got a few websites that are going to be helpful for this. So I've got um, Amazon up here and I've got a great website in the UK called Hot UK Deals. 
that shows you um, kind of cheap deals of parts and whatnot. So we want to build the cheapest PC possible to run iRacing. So let's get into it. System Builder. Now, if you've never built a PC before, this is all there is to it. It's actually not that complicated. It, it can be complicated putting it together, um, but actually buying it, you've only got these kind of bits to talk about or to, to worry about. Let's start with the memory. And uh, as we know, we need to have a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we'll go two times eight because that'll be the cheapest. And we'll actually just source it by cheapest. And RAM is fairly cheap. So these are good brands already here. Um, Crucial Ballistics for 60 gigabyte. My eye is immediately drawn to. Um, or the Patriot series. But I don't know enough about the Patriot series. Um, but I do know that Crucial Ballistics is very good RAM. So we're going to add that in. That's going to be £58. Now let's compare that actually. Let's just search in here. 16 gigabytes of RAM. And see if there's anything that isn't already in a computer. There's some bundled stuff. Here we go. That's 32 gigabytes, 120 pounds, and that is crucial ballistics. And there's some Patriot Viper. Okay, so you don't need to worry too much about the megahertz your RAM is um, operating at. Uh, let's see what we've got. Yeah, this will be operating at 266 um, or 266, which is fine. You can overclock it. The one in my PC is overclocked to 3600, but that'll be absolutely fine. So we got the RAM sorted. Perfect. Um, let's go storage now. And we're going to get a cheap SSD. We may as well go for NVMe. If I can see where it is. Because NVMe memory is so cheap these days. And all we're going to go with is a 500 gigabyte. Here we go. It's been a while since I used this website. And again, we'll sort by price. We're trying to do this cheaply. So here we go. Just trying to see if there's any ones that I recognize. And I'm immediately drawn to the WD, which is a good company. Um, for memory, that's 250 there. We want 500. There we go. I've forgotten how to add it. Here we go. We're going to add it. There we go. Bang. So we've got 500 gigabytes of, of fast memory there. NVMe M2, which is faster than M2 SATA, which is an older interface. That's pretty fast. Um, in terms of modern memory. Right, we'll leave video card. We'll just get a cheap case because you obviously do need to get a case. Let's just get a really cheap one, but we're just going to get a normal size. So we're going to go for ATX. We're not going to go for mini or micro. And what do we got? Nothing massively cheap on cases, but this one looks pretty cool. It's got RGB lighting and a case is a case really. I'm not too fussed about the case, so we'll put that in there as well. Right, PSU will go later. Operating system, we won't add because there are cheaper and legal ways to get Windows. So you can legally get keys for quite cheap. So I'm actually not going to include that in this. You might have to also be able to transfer your key from your previous computer as well. Right, we're going to go with CPU now. And although I'm an Intel boy, we're going to go here with a um, Risen CPU. Now, I don't know so much about Risen CPU. Actually, let's see. Let's just sort and see what we get. So we don't want to go for any Pentium. So we don't want to go for a Core i3. Um, now, this one, this Risen 5 T600, I think is going to be the one that we want. Again, I'm not huge on Risen, but... You can see here that scan, I got it for 120 plus shipping, although they're out of stock at the moment. So that might not be that representative. But let's add it in anyway. That's going to be a, a decent CPU. I've, I'm, I use Intel because I like to use Thunderbolt interface, but AMD, I think, makes a better chip these days. 
then we're just going to cool it quite cheaply with a cheap fan um, you do need to a lot of these will come with different adapters for the different CPU so we've gone with an AMD CPU this is an Intel fan it might still work on an AMD CPU I'm not sure though Here we go. So you need to just work out what socket we've got on this. So it's an AM4 socket. Okay, that will dictate the motherboard as well, probably. There we go. AM4. And we'll just go for this really cheap Alpine one to keep it cool. There we go. Bang that in. So we're really getting there now. Really, really getting there. And um, we'll do PSU near the end as well. We don't need to do a monitor. So let's do the motherboards. And we need to have it AM4 because our CPU is an AM4 CPU. Wow, these motherboards are cheap. That is insane. So the motherboard will contain all of your connectivity and everything will plug into the motherboard. So your, your graphics card, your CPU and your RAM as well. Um, I'm looking to get the Gigabyte one, which is a very reputable brand. Um, it will provide for 16 gigabytes of memory, which is fine. Um, better motherboards will go up to 128, but we don't need that. Uh, it's a micro ATX, so we don't need that. I've forgotten to put full size. Right, so I've worked out what I did wrong, which is that um, the case, although it was full size ATX, it was taking a micro or mini um, motherboard, which we don't want. We want a big, chunky boy. So there we go. We're going to add that case instead. And when I go to motherboard now, we'll be able to get full-sized motherboards, not those micro or um, mini ones. And this is a very good motherboard here for £68, which is going to fit our socket. So it's a B450, which is... Um, for AMD chips, which is what we've got. It's going to add that in. So at the moment, we're looking at £412. I need to add my CPU cooler as well because I took that off. Bear with me a second. Just going to get our cheap, cheap boy. And there we go. The Arctic Alpine. Racing. Um, So we've got £420 now without a video card. Let's go to the video card. I'm making this video in 2021. Video cards are not in a good place. <laughs> but let's see what we need unless we can be a little bit off field. So remember, we only actually needed two gigabytes of RAM, but let's let's up it to four. Um, all of that is fine. And let's go and sort by price. So this is a GeForce GT 710. Okay, so we've got the 7 Series GPUs here. Can we get a 10 Series? Yes, we can. But then you lose, you go down to 2... Oh, my word. 1 gigabyte of RAM. That's not going to work. I've done this the wrong way. Bear with me. Right, so we're going to have a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM. And the cheapest you can get is a... Wow, is a GeForce GT 730. So 7 Series... G the, wow, these uh, GPUs are really expensive. This is a big problem at the moment for making a PC is GPUs. I mean, it's just ridiculous that you're still only in the original 10 series GPUs and you're talking £200. That's basically the availability is not good. So we're going to go on to here. Right, after a lot of <laughs> looking around, I have found a card and it's this one. You can even get it tomorrow on Amazon. Um, so it is in stock. It's £120 and it's a 1030, which is, you know, was the lowest um, card in the range at that time. And it's only two gigabytes of RAM, but it should run iRacing. And I've checked online. Here is someone who is running on a 1030 with two gig gigabytes of RAM and on their settings. They somehow managed to get 150 FPS, which is more than I get. Um, with my Vega 56. Maybe I need to upgrade this card. But yeah, I'm not crazy about this um, 1030 card, but it kind of is what it is. 
we're going to have to bump down from the four gigabytes I'm not crazy about. But if it means we're going to get a card, it means we're going to get a card. Let's see if there's a cheaper price. Right, here we go. This is the one we want. You can get it from Box, which is a rect reputable retailer. 1030 Aero, so it's the same one as on Amazon, except it's quite a bit cheaper, which is a plus. So £85 there. So let's add that in to our PC. And there we go. This is our iRacing PC. Uh, I need to get a pa uh, power supply. My bad. Oops. Let's get a cheap power supply. We don't need to go crazy on, on the old wattage. Because we're not running extreme components. This one looks to be fairly popular. So... We'll go for that one. 450 watts. Should be fine for our purposes because we're not running intense equipment at all. So we've got a CPU. We've, we're going to call it. We've got a motherboard. We've got 16 gigabytes of memory. We've got 500 gigabytes of the fastest storage. We've got a, a GPU, even today's crazy market, and it should run iRacing from what we can see. We've got a case. The case is quite expensive. You can probably get a cheaper case than that. And we've got a PSU, the operating system you can get from elsewhere. And I'm assuming you've got a monitor or, or a TV, somewhere like that. So this comes to £541. That's a little bit more than I was expecting. I was hoping to be able to do this for five, uh, sub £500, to be honest. Um, so we'll add the you know 20 or so pounds on for the subscriptions. We're talking £560 for a year's subscription and a PC. We'll just check here if we can see any cheap computers that we've pre-bought computers that we think might be able to run it for less than 550 here we go that looks like a little bit better so all the pre-built ones are not really working out and none of these will have the requisite gpu for for the price so let me know in the comments if you think you can build a, a better PC or, or cheaper PC than this, a 540. Um, to me, this seems like a decent PC, actually. You've got decent RAM, you've got decent storage, you've got a decent CPU, um, and obviously the, the GPU is, is, is a you know is a stopgap at the moment because the GPU market is not in a good place right now. So £550. So you need to get a wheel as well. Now, if you play any games on the PlayStation and Xbox and have a wheel for that, that wheel will also use on will also work sorry on pc so again i'm going to discount that from this price calculation because most people in, in my community on discord already have a wheel so we're going to add 541 plus the 15 pounds for the subscription and then we're going to divide it by 12. so you're talking 46 pounds a month to play iRacing including the PC. I don't know if that's a good way of thinking about it or not, but £46 a month, that's the cheapest I can do at the moment. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful just to give some ballpark figures of how much it really costs to get into iRacing. Do let me know in the comments if, A, you've got better deals you can find. That would be really helpful because I know there's going to be lots of people who are interested in knowing what the cheapest route into iRacing is. And if you've got any more comments for me or any questions for me, sorry, do let me know in the comments. I do try and get back to all comments. And it would be great to see more people in iRacing. I think iRacing is only going to get bigger. They just keep improving the game. And it's a game that does work on a variety of different computers in terms of the performance. You can really scale it up and down. It looks phenomenal on top of the range PCs. You can run it in VR. You can run it on triple monitors. But it also does scale down as we saw with this guy paying on the 1030 GT, somehow getting 880, so 180 FPS, which is just pure sorcery. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did like it, do feel free to uh, drop a like or even a subscribe. But otherwise, I'll see you next time.